this invitation into our beautiful chapel comes from our Lord himself, who is in the tabernacle. That is where the white tabernacle veil is on the altar. And this is the center, the source and summit of all the treasures that are within the chapel right here. That is the source and summit. And we have our Lord's death on the cross, shown by his, the great crucifix, the altar, which is where the Mass takes place, the traditional Latin Mass. And then we have that great apocalyptic lamb as the front of the altar. And on either side we have statues of the angels reminding us of their presence here during all of the prayers that are being offered and the devotions. And then coming along here we have the Blessed Virgin Mary reminding us about her. And on this side, of course, St. Joseph. And as we go along the side of the chapel, we can see over here the first seven of the Stations of the Cross. And then because we are a religious community, we have represented different religious communities by our statues. And so on this side with the Blessed Virgin Mary, we have St. Rita from the Augustinians, St. Teresa of the Child Jesus from the Carmelites, St. Rose of Lima, from the Dominicans, and St. Mary Magdalene, the great penitent saint. And we can see in the back the baptistry, that is, and St. John the Baptist, a patron of Baptists. And then the picture of St. Pius X, the icon of our, our mother of perpetual help, the rose window here of the Holy Ghost, bringing his seven gifts represented by those flames, St. Michael the Archangel. And going to this side, we have the Holy Infant of Prague, a scapular depicted right there next to him, the confessionals. And over the confessionals, the, one of the great penitent saints, we have, of course, St. Augustine, the bishop depicted in that statue. But then, of course, our Lord tied to the pillar during his passion leading up to his crucifixion to remind us of what our sins have done. And then coming up here we have the men saints on this side. We have St. Benedict and the Benedictines. Oh, St. Augustine is, is Augustinians too. And then St. Anthony and the Franciscans and St. Ignatius of Loyola. And talking about the stained glass windows that we have also, here is the one representing Easter with the Phoenix. Here is the Holy Eucharist with the host and chalice. And here is the papal tiara with the keys of St. Peter, the keys of the kingdom that our Lord gave him. And switching back again over to this side to see these stained glass windows, we have Sacra Scriptura, the Bible, the Holy Scriptures. Here is the Blessed Trinity depicted in the triangle, equilateral triangle, and the circle around that. And then over here, the purposes of prayer shown by the incense coming up from the thurible. And finally, the first stained glass window, which is that for the holy name. And that is all for the inside of the chapel. But to tell you, please, you are invited to come and partic participate in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, and all the beautiful devotions here, the rosary, uh, the catechism classes, the sermons, all the other sacraments, these are all right here for you, and we invite you to come.